It was a, sh a shock to me when I got to be the age that he died. And I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm living longer than my older brother. That is a story thousands of people have two decades later. Rob Burton and his wife Joan were early in their married life together in the summer of 2001. Joan's big brother, Rob Peraza, was working for Cantor Fitzgerald on the 104th floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Rob and Joan hadn't spent as much time together as they would have liked in the years before. Both had been away at college and just busy with their adult lives. But that day, let Joan know how endurable family ties are. Fox 8's Bob Buckley shares their story. Where are we going? Time, we are told, is medicinal. Mom will cry. But for Rob Burton and his wife Joan, some wounds seem unhealable. On 9-11, Rob Peraza was working for Cantor Fitzgerald on the 104th floor of Tower One. He was Rob Burton's high school friend and Joan's big brother. Is it any easier 20 years later? Um, I don't know that it's easier. Uh, I was looking at the stuff that we have uh, yesterday and I was sitting here crying, you know, and it's, it's been 20 years, but it still brings back all those memories. Did that surprise you? No, because every year, on Facebook and whatever, September 11th, you know, everybody's, you know, just talking about Rob, and I sit there at the computer every year and cry. 20 years later, I'll do the same thing. In the hours immediately after the attack. I remember the, the feelings of all of the data being mounted up because there was a lot of inconsistencies. Joan recounted that for us when we first met with her and Rob in October of 2001. My other brother called my parents and said he was looking at a business card and the business card said Tower One. My dad wouldn't even believe him. Um, he's like, no, 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 he didn't work there. But of course, he did. And although Rob Peraza's life ended that day, it went on for the rest of his family. Just like everybody else, we all lose people. We all grieve. Time passes. People forget. And that's, I mean, I haven't forgotten, but, you know, you, move, you go on with your life. For the Burtons, that meant something completely unexpected, as Rob told us in 2006. What changed for me was wanting to have kids. Mm -hmm. I never, I didn't want to have kids, but for some reason, after it happened, I wanted to have kids. Those kids <laughs> are now grown. <laughs> Riley Marie is headed off to college. How do you think you're going to react when people at college say something about 9-11? I probably won't say anything unless it comes up. It'd be interesting. What lingers is the grief, the last full measure of our love for those we've lost. Grief can, can, take out, can bring out the best and bring out the worst of you. And um, that, that really uh, changed our family. No one more than Joan and Rob Peraza's parents, and never more poignantly than this photo of their father, Robert Peraza, at the 9-11 memorial. Um, I think of, of his heart just breaking. Yeah, a broken man. Yeah. I really do. Um, he was never the same? Oh, gosh, no. No, he was never the same after Rob mm -hmm. passed. No. no way. Robert Peraza died in 2016. Meanwhile, Joan and her family has spent the last 20 years keeping Rob's memory alive. Now maybe Robert and I will do the stair climb. Each year, they do the memorial stair climb in Greensboro. If it's on a Saturday, I can come back from college and do it. And for each of the first 10 years after 9-11, a member of the family ran the New York City Marathon using the race number that Rob had but never got to use. Joan took her turn in 2011. She now finds herself sending her children gentle text reminders of how fleeting life can be. You know, make memories. Go out, make memories. Because I feel like I don't have a lot of those with my brother, and I want these kids, I want my kids to make those memories so they can hold on to them. It seems that wisdom may be taking hold. You got one life, live your best.